Hi Scanifliers, Max here. This is a 3D model I generated on Scanifly. Looks great, right? Today, I'm going to teach you how to capture photos with your DJI drone that will produce a model as great as this one. The first step is to take a look at your drone's camera. Today, I'm using the DJI Mavic Air 2S, but this applies to every drone. It is important to angle your gimbal at around 45 to 70 degrees. This is so the 3D model will include vertical features, such as the facades of buildings, sides of vent pipes, and other potential shading obstructions. If you fly over a building with a camera facing directly down, you will not see those vertical features nearly as well, and your 3D model will have a melting or waterfall type look to it. While taking off, always be sure your drone is clear of any surrounding obstructions, including anything above it. In this example, we are using the DJI Fly app to fly our drone. Keep in mind you can use your favorite app and your favorite drone just as long as the drone takes geotagged images. Unlike some of the other DJI drones, the Air 2S orbit mode can be initiated without going into other menus on the DJI Fly app. Once you are in the air with the structure and frame, you can drag your finger across the screen to get the tracking box to appear. From there, navigate to the menu at the bottom of the screen and select POI. With POI selected, you can determine which direction you want the drone to orbit, as well as the speed. To do this, move the circle to the corresponding arrow with your finger, and the farther up you move the circle, the faster the drone will fly. We would recommend using a slow speed, as seen here. When you're ready, select Go, and the drone will start orbiting around the point of interest. While your drone is orbiting at the desired speed, you'll need to take pictures using the shutter button on the app or on your remote. While in orbit, take photos every two seconds until the orbit is complete. First flight around the property is what we call a context flight. We not only want to collect the building, but also the surrounding environment. This is especially important for our solar users, who require nearby obstructions to be included in their model in order to perform an accurate shade analysis. In this first flight, we collected 98 images, capturing both the building and surrounding area. Here are some of the photos we took with the Air 2S. Overlap is a term that describes how much a photo is similar to the photo that was previously taken. You'll notice there's a lot of overlap between our consecutive photos. High photo overlap is important for creating a good 3D model. While orbiting at a slow speed, taking pictures every two seconds will help you achieve a high overlap. Now that we've collected images around the entire building, it's time to fly closer in order to capture more structural details. You can see we are flying much closer to the building than before. This will give our model more clarity and realism. For this detail orbit, we took 69 images. So there you have it! We took 167 images, which is more than enough to create a model. The best way to learn how to collect images is to go out there and do it firsthand. You'll continue getting better at taking these photos and understanding when it's appropriate to use certain flight modes. The most important things to remember are to tilt your camera angle to see vertical features, take plenty of photos with plenty of overlap, and keep your drone away from any obstructions. Please let us know if you need any help getting started or advice on buying a drone or flying your drone. Thanks for watching!